Hillsides covered in ash, rubble where homes once stood. 7 News asking where all the debris from the High Park fire is ultimately going to be ending up. 7 News reporter Lance Hernandez live along the Poudre River. And Lance, there is a whole lot to clean up. A lot to clean up, you know. Uh, every time it rains, Mike, there's going to be even more to clean up. I'm along the banks of the Poudre River. Look at this. This is just coal black. It's sand and debris from the High Park fire. And a biologist with State Parks and Wildlife tells me it's going to be three to five years minimum before the Poudre River is back to normal. It's just, it's just very charcoal. It's very black. It's in front yards. It's alongside the highway. And it's in the river. Black and debris from the High Park fire. So much debris in the Poudre River that 70% of the fish are expected to die. And what about the big burned branches and trunks in the river? Well, the only reason it would ever be removed if it becomes a human safety factor for the rafters or it's going to impact the ability of the, the river to pass water down through it from the highway standpoint. County officials say it's up to individual homeowners to remove debris that washed into their yards. Most will have to pay to have it hauled away. A lot of that debris and debris from the homes destroyed in the blaze will end up here at the Larimer County Landfill. I was estimating 1,200 to 2,000 20 yard trucks to bring the debris in just from the homes. Stephen Gillette of the Solid Waste Division says state health officials are allowing them to take material they wouldn't normally be allowed to take. We're not allowed to take asbestos contaminated material. Gillette says they don't know if the burn zone debris contains asbestos, so it's being processed in one specific area and is immediately covered with soil. Homeowners say they're reconciling themselves to a long-term debris problem. I've heard that people still from the Hayman fire are still getting sentiment in their rivers. Uh, I believe that we'll probably see it for many, many years, probably my lifetime. Now, an interesting tidbit, all the rocks and mud that came down onto Highway 14 over the weekend during those mudslides is not being taken to a landfill or being dumped into any ravines or anything. CDOT is saving that to recycle it in case they need it, need it for feed, uh, fill material later on. Live in Larimer County, Lance Hernandez, 7 News. Thank you, Lance.